Hey everybody, right on here. Thanks for tuning in to episode 110 of Kenshi. So last we left off, we did some gorilla hunting, and it was a little buggy. Uh, and I say that because basically the gorillas that we had hunted um, didn't really spawn correctly and were underwater or just sort of like broken line of sight, which is honestly not ideal. Um, so what I'm going to do right now... Oh. Week A, who are you fighting? More caravan guards? I was pretty sure I closed my city to public. Why are you even showing up here anymore? Caravan guards. I'm gonna have Pengu eat you. No, oh, he missed. Uh, so what I was gonna do is, and this was a tip I received uh, from Luke O'Keefe, uh, who said, get the last four ancient science books from this tech lab before I leave. Um, that is a very, very good idea because I only really have one thing left with ancient science books left to even research in the entire game. I might as well just grab it from this uh, tech lab. So this tech lab is going to have some security spiders. Nothing I'm not going to be able to handle pretty swiftly and easily. As you can see, no problem there whatsoever. Um, some people, like Crumble John, are pretty screwed up from having to swim in the muck and mire and harm himself, etc, etc. So I gotta be a little careful about who I send upstairs to go fight. Um, uh, so what I'll do is just send Radamont and the Skellies. Uh, I didn't even really see who got the hit on, but... Clearly, a hit was landed while I was fast-forwarding time. And let's see if I can't just get the uh, science. No, no, these are all electrical components. i got to go upstairs again. One, two spiders left. That ain't no thing. Wait. Spider, where are you going? Ouch. Agnew got a very big hit. Alright. Security spiders. I remember when these spiders gave me trouble. They are just but a joke now. They do hit hard, but... We cut through them pretty quick, I'd have to say. All right, so getting some repairs on, and then let's steal the last few books. I don't really only need four books. So as soon as I get four, I can bounce. Uh, there's three of four. I'm sort of curious what else can be found in here. Um, I mean, I kind of know what it will be, so I'm going to poke around, but I might not end up looting. Uh, I'm so tempted. I'm so greedy is I don't even need the books and here I am looking for more. But for some reason or another there aren't more. Yeah, there really aren't more. That's kind of funny. The game's like, ah, oh, you have all the books you need. Get out of here. Leave this for the next adventurer, the next tech hunter. So, oh, there's four more books. Okay. We definitively have more than enough books to satiate our research curiosity. Um, now, my worry here is Crumble John getting melted coming over to the mainland. So, I think what, if I pick him up... No, he still suffers acid. He just suffers less acid because Agnew can run underwater. In the end, still the right choice. Oh, some land bats. Hello, land bats. All right. So there's still some more things for me to do. Um, one thing for me to do is to try to find King. 
I was hoping that king would um, come with queen. Well, so when I abducted the queen from the southern hive, the raid that was sent to attack me was uh, usually gets led by king, who is a crimper bot. Um, I can go look for him. So, so Luke O'Keefe was the one that suggested I get the ancient books, and then Andrew Griffin. Uh, actually, no, I forget who mentioned King. I'm sorry that I don't have your name written down. Andrew Griffin mentioned that I should go check out the um, um, dead fisherman aisle. But yeah, I'm gonna take a brief moment while I passively heal up slowly to look for King. Uh, I'm sort of looking for really any reason to continue this uh, this series because, of course, I'm sort of out of things to do. Not not entirely. I mean, sure, there's a lot of other things, but it's kind of beneath my uh, let's call it power level <laughs> to quote DBZ. Um, at this point, I am super unbelievably strong, and there's a lot of things that I could do. Um, but given how strong I am, it will it would just be me squishing whatever targets uh, there are left for me to do. Like, uh, for instance, taking out the um, uh, some of the swamp gangs. You know, I could take out the stone rats with probably like two of my guys. It just wouldn't be that much of a challenge. And yeah, I mean, I guess you could say, oh, then just use two. But it's like, then what am I going to do with the other 18? Have them stand around and watch? I mean, that's kind of what it has been. Even in the end game, when we were clearing out the Ashland Domes, I was kind of only using maybe 10 of my 20. Because I didn't need the others. So, I'm not going to spend forever trying to find King. Uh, he'll kind of look like a cleanser bot. That's sort of what he looks like. He isn't a cleanser bot, of course. He's a crimper bot. But he's the only crimper bot in existence. Fancy, right? Ooh. Yeah, I do find it interesting that, that the game designers, that Lo-Fi designed... Oh, so the fog have already taken over um, this hive here because basically I have the queen in custody. Which means finding king might even be more challenging. Because I don't know if the Southern Hive even own this area anymore. Which means I might have effectively displaced King to the point where, like, he doesn't exist. Because I'm not really seeing any Southern Hive patrols anywhere. And I bet these are fog. Yep. They are indeed fog. Um, so King is supposed to be patrolling the Royal Valley, and he is also supposed to attack me uh, in a raid against my base when I capture the Queen, and neither seem to be true. So much like the Mega Raptors of the West Raptor Isle, uh, this might be a bit of a fool's errand. Again, probably just... Oh no, these guys are Southern Hive. They're yelling at me to flee. I'll do no such thing. I don't, however, see King in this group. But I'm plenty happy to dispatch some more Southern Hive. As long as uh, Crumble stays out of the, uh, the combat here. I don't need anyone unconscious. Alright, uh, let's open up their armory. Got some drone guards. No one named King, though. I'll just let these guys fight it out. Why are the goats... Uh, the goats aren't attacking me. The 
Goats are actually helping me out. I think. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, Checking floors above. A whole lot of nothing. I bet there's not even really weapons in this armory. As that is tends to be true of most armories. There might be a weapon or two, but... If you were like a thief-only playthrough, uh, you'd really have to just rob the scrap house. Because there is basically no weapons outside of the scrap house um, that are any decent. Unless you are fighting inside of the, uh, the Ashland domes for weapons. Yeah. No, no, I mean, there's some edge ones here, I guess. I kind of stand corrected, but God knows when I attacked Holy Nation, all the boxes I searched, there's basically nothing. It was a total waste of time. Yeah. Okay. Well, that answers that. Uh, at least I, I can now know that... Uh, that this entire Royal Valley has not been fully um, inhabited by the fog. There are some holy, uh, some southern hivers left, albeit not many. And who is left goes kasplat real, real easy. Uh, Hiver claimed. So I'll just do one more pass. Um, of the Royal Valley, and then we can, if we don't end up finding King, I don't think spending more time on it is worth it, because he'll die much like the, uh, the Cleanser Bot, which is to say, quickly and brutally, uh, much like how everything else has died. So despite... Manning my base pretty well. Um, there really hasn't been any sales, and now I've. If the caravan, honestly, if the caravan guard are still going to show up, I might as well keep myself open to for business. Because if it makes no difference, then I might as well have customers for my trouble. Now, if I'm looking for king. I best be keeping my eyes open. Um, yeah, I think this is a fool's errand. I'm just about ready to call it. All right. Let's, uh... Let's get moving, then. Just checking my tech. All that is left is the battery power. I have literally just about every other technology unlocked. I'm the most technologically advanced. Oh, look, there's some big things. Feared once, but feared no more. Oops, I keep selecting Janes. Everyone follows Seto. So, I did have a request from Andrew Griffin that I check out this little fishing aisle. Uh, and I'll do just that. Hello, Mr. Spider. Goodbye, Mr. Spider. Additionally, uh, I figured out that one of the mods that I installed, the one that decreases the visible effects of the fog when I was living in the fog aisle, uh, also sort of break the poison gas of the Ashland Dome. So next episode, I will disable that mod. 
Um, that was not uh, not my intention to make the Ashland Stones any easier. Granted, I did have all the masks and everything for it. So here we are at Dead Fishing Isle, our village. And as you can see, there's a bunch of uh, error code um, robots in here that don't like me much. There's a whole lot of them, in fact. Whoa, bad camera work. All right, let's line up. Everyone on hold. One, two, three. Oops, wrong direction. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. And off to the side. All right, let's just have a giant melee. This could just be fun. So these are broken ones that uh, don't like me much, as you can see. Oh, the hits of Agnew. Look at that, just simply crushed. Even Rain getting some good hits in. All of them are. These robots are taking a beating. None of them have even broke the line to get to uh, my crossbowmen. Any of them that have tried have gotten flattened. All right, well, that's uh, a whole lot of broken robots and spilled oil. There's no way to disable these guys. Um, wow. My, the local authorities, who are the local authorities? These broken robots? Interesting. Uh, let's poke around. So they have uh, small emperor statues, some hemp, some CPU units. These guys weren't wealthy. Check their towers. They really know how to uh, spruce up the place. They must do a lot of entertaining. I guess if you're a robot, you really have no need for dining tables or anything, so it kind of explains why the furniture is a mess. Even locked away in their special box, uh, they've got junk. More junk. All right, I can check out the last tower. It's too bad, like, uh, perception doesn't allow you to sort of see where the valuable stuff might be. I don't know how that would work, but... Alright. Usually the safes are the best bet, and this safe has some power cores and robotic components. I gotta say, compared to the amount of fighting I had to do to get in here, um, the loot was lackluster. Oh, but uh, there's a whole lot of iron spiders that that are coming my way. Alright, Radamon, it would be great if you started to move. Come on. Shuffle on out of there. There you go. You can scream police all you want. That really did not help you the last time. Alright, so we'll start working our way back towards Morn. Um, looking for something else to do. So there is, of course, uh, some more megafauna. Uh, there is the... Hmm. 
Mega Crab. In the Howler Maze. So the Howler Maze. Um, eh, yeah, let's get to it. I wonder what the uh, I wonder what they are doing. This little group of people. I'm just trying to look around, refresh my memory of all the places I've gone. Oh, Seto's already here. Okay, so the Howler Maze is kind of far away, uh, but that's okay. We're, we're fast, and we can heal as we run. I think we have plenty of food. To, oh, yeah, we have lots of food. Food is not an issue. Ammo might be, but I rely maybe a little bit too heavily on the Eagle Crosses, so it might be nice to have some more melee fights. So the Howler Maze is way over here, near Hang. Here it is. But I haven't actually checked back on the UC cities since I sort of demolished the UC. So it'll be interesting to head on back there and, and see what's going on. No, I was pretty sure. That dock here is set to dispose of bodies. So I'll reset that up. Come on. He's like refusing to work. I wonder if this is the animal skin. Like, if I loot this animal skin, will the body go away? No, nope. body's still there. Okay, I'm literally looking at a dead body. You haven't. Okay, there we go. Incineration eventually. Well, there's not much going on back home, so let's just uh, watch our trek towards the Howler Maze. Uh, we're in a fun part of the world now. The Land of Angry Lasers. I am surprised that, oh, Seto is now 41 miles an hour. So she's not definitively the slowest. Surprising. It took her a while. But now 41 is our, uh, our speed. I don't think we're going to get much faster than that. Oh, Agnew looks like you got separated from the group. Considerably, wow, really considerably. You and Beep probably got separated too, I'd imagine. Wow, you hit that thing for 251? Good for you, man. Woman, whatever you are. All right, let's check on Beep. No, nope, Beep's with the group. Agnew ventured off. That's a new one. Well, I don't really want to wait for Agnew inside of the eye. So hopefully Agnew will follow us. That doesn't include us standing in the lasers. 
I keep meaning to disable let's talk, but then I keep sort of forgetting to do it. At this point, most of the conversations had been had. While we wait for Agnew, we can breeze through Hang, see what's going on. I'm sort of curious what has become of the city. It still looks like it's under, uh, no, Rebel Swordsman. Cool. Good for you guys. I'm not allied with the Rebel Swordsman, but I'm glad to see that um, something positive has happened. Oh, no, why are you attacking me? Okay, clearly uh, you guys d didn't get the memo that you are in charge of your own destiny because of me, not in spite of me. I'm just going to leave. They're ungrateful. And I have no interest in bashing a bunch of rebels, as fun as that might be. Oh, but look at all these outlaws. Them I can smash up without feeling too bad. Let's go see whatever came of that slave farm. Because their mistress... Oh yeah, it's just in ruins. So you can see all the buildings have just collapsed. Alright, let's get to the start of the Howler Maze. Now, because I couldn't find Crimper and I couldn't find the Megaraptor, uh, this is sort of the last Megafauna. Uh, I would say, definitively, the Megafauna list would be a Cleanser Unit in the Ashlands, which I have done. The Great White Gorilla, done. Uh, Crimper, which I couldn't find. Or maybe I killed him and I didn't notice. I don't know, that's entirely possible. King Gorilla, uh, done. A Leviathan, done. Mega Crab, going to do. And Megaraptor, never spawned. Them's the list. So this is the the end of my wish list here. All right, so we are going to path into the Howler Maze. Oh, please don't involve too much swimming. Actually, I actually haven't been down to the Howler Maze. Although, truth be told, I'm not sure why you'd come here without a good reason. And yes, it involves some swimming. Some acid swimming. Well, at least Agnew's with us now. Alright, Seto, I don't know what wiggling you're doing. Whoa, I like whoa, teleport swimming, though. Sometimes when you have the speed cranked all the way up, it doesn't register the terrain you're on until you're already pretty deep in it. fi fo fum I smell the blood of a mega crab. Alright, so ooh, it's loading very slowly. Uh, this crab really... I'll, I'll melee it just because it is not uh, that tough. Alright, meleeers. Let's go see hi. It's big! It's a big old crab with a lot of HP. Yeah, see, it's squishing me. Griffin is uh, unconscious, as is Wing Wing. Yeah, I mean, it's hitting for, for big amounts. I shouldn't underestimate it. It knocked, uh, okay, if it's knocking me out, I will start to shoot it. No one wants a, a death. I don't want a death on my conscience. Now, I have pretty good armor. 
but that doesn't stop it from potentially doing huge damage. Oh, and it's down. All right, um, Ganglion. Janes, I guess you'll just take a bunch of the Ganglion. And Mega Crab is down and dead. Now we're going to patch up. Uh, maybe wait a little bit for people to uh, regain consciousness. Agnew's pretty close. Hamet as well. Yeah, look at these crossbow skills. Hobbs is at a straight hundred. Green is even higher than that. Come on, Hamet. All right, recovery coma, that's fine. We'll just pick you up. Yoink. Everybody follow Seto, and Seto, you're going to get us out of the Howler maze. I could poke around for stuff here, but, you know. I'm King Midas at this point. No, I really should have picked him up. Uh, let's walk this way. Really should have picked him up with a skeleton. And I could very easily fix that, but I'm not going to. Alright. This little jetty might let me cross a little bit more easily. Alright, so I'm going to return to base, and then, unless you all come up with uh, other adventures for me, the last thing I'm going to do uh, next episode, I'm going to make sure that I disable my mod that sort of reduces the effects of uh, the, the gas clouds, because I didn't realize that that was a side effect of the mod I had installed. And then, who owns this? You know what? It's owned by a noble. Who's living in here? Slavers? Alright. I'll make a quick detour. Just gonna put Hamet down. This um, lock is pretty well locked up. It's gonna take me a while to pick that. Figured if there's slavery, I should probably, you know, get rid of it. Alright. Screw lock picking. Smash the door. It's much faster. I'm coming in. Alright, who is the proprietor? Uh, Ruben. Yeah, you don't even have a Mato anything. Alright. Well, that's one. Kidnap the idiot. And then let's loot the idiot. Oops. Idiot has no money now, no. Um, did take a bit of a beating. Sahamet is still being carried. Following Seto. Seto, take us home. As I said, if I if I happen upon a place that still has slavery going on, yeah, I'm not going to stand for that. I already have a trophy room of all these anti or these slavers. It is a little ironic to keep them in a cage. I know, I get that, but we are 
getting a nice accumulation of assholes all stacked up. So it did make mention of that, that a lot of these uh, cities that still remain, and maybe I can do them after I finish off up the Ashland Domes, a lot of these cities are, are run by nobles. So just because, um, just because Tengu, who's chasing me, a manhunter? Just because Tengu and Lady Kana have been captured by me doesn't necessarily mean that they turn over. Um, and that's basically what you're seeing here is... A lot of these United Cities still stay United Cities um, even after their own destruction. Shrike, have I gotten anything nice out of you? Oh yeah, there's some masterwork. Two of them, in fact. And I'll separate the specialist out too, because... Specialist is probably still going to be better than my uh, leather armor. Let's see who needs it. Alright, Hamet needs it. In fact, that might have protected him from his coma. Griffin needs it. Wing Wing needs it. So three more masterworks, four if you include Kang's regular chainmail, and we'll be all set. I don't know why this fell to ruins. I really thought it would be owned by uh, the Sheck. Maybe the Sheck accidentally like let Voltena go. That'd be weird. I don't know if that's ever supposed to happen. Oh, look. Hungry Bandits. Week A. I don't really see you firing. You also happen to be on the wrong turret. Which would answer that a bit. Chung's getting pretty handy with that staff of his. These enemies better, better beware. Have I made the cages? No, I have not. Alright, Chung, when you do nothing, be an engineer. Ah, uh, Molly's about to make one at least. And we're almost home. Just me or is all of my stuff here looking a mite bit murky? Man, there really aren't... Uh, a lot of iron plates to be had for construction purposes. And everything in my base is starting to look real sort of moldy. Oh, everyone's home though. That's uh, honestly very bad news for my enemies. The little raiders that try to mess with me. What's with the constant mold? I don't know. Oops. Didn't mean to put you down. I'll pick you back up. He got pretty crippled. Um, I never really patched him up because mostly I don't really care. But at this point, I might as well cage him. Alright, put this dude in. And... We'll keep him as a pet. Uh, a naked one, though.
the Great White Gorilla stuff can go into our trophy room. Um, the research stuff goes into the research. That will be enough for the last tech, the electric battery power. Uh, everything else can go into the store, not that I ever expect it to be purchased, but it's a good place to just throw junk. Uh, I suppose I will re-up the feedings. Making sure that my prized prisoners don't starve themselves. I wonder if they'll still yell at me that I'll regret it. So far I can say I don't regret imprisoning them at all, as it has not even inconvenienced me. Nobody came for the queen, or really any of them. Um... Yeah, that's how little that the world regards these scum. All right, King's healed. Rain needs actual healing. Hamet. Robotics. And then healing. Same deal, Griffin. And Wing Wing. Green, you're all set. The rest of the crossbowmen. Don't really need any healing. All right. Well, uh, that's a pretty good place to end this episode on, albeit uh, a little earlier than I normally would. Uh, but next episode, I'll be going into the Ashlands Dome, the last one, or rather the ominous place, uh, honestly, unless you all have a better idea for me to do for next episode. So if you have any questions, feedback of any type, now's the time to drop me a line. Um, I'm pretty sure all of the major things in this game I've done at this point. So if you know of anything that I've missed, let me know. I am definitely down for another adventure. And then even after I go to the ominous place, uh, taking out the rest of the nobles might be something I do. I don't know. It's up to you. I'll, I'll, I'll be looking for your comments to see if you are interested in more Kenshi in this series. Or if you think that the ominous place is a good end cap, is a good way to stop. All right, well, thank you all very much for watching, especially to all of you that have watched every episode. That is some pure dedication, and I deeply appreciate it. And I'll catch you all next time. Adios, everybody.